Hello investors and future investors, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a topic that's close to many of our hearts, the best investment plan for low-income individuals. Not too long ago I too was a low-income individual, so I'll also show you the process I used to increase my income. So whether you're just starting out on your investment journey or looking for ways to grow your wealth on a tight budget, you're in the right place. Welcome to Investment Gains, let's jump right into it. The whole point of investing is to become financially free. This does not mean living in a mansion with a few expensive sports cars or wearing designer apparel. In my opinion, being financially free means not having to work for income, or rather setting yourself up with an automated passive or semi-passive business or other investment vehicles where you receive regular income to sustain your living, and then your monetary and asset wealth grow over time. This I believe to be financial freedom because you now have time to do the things that life was meant for, and that's traveling, spending time with family and gaining new perspectives and networks. In order to achieve this outcome, you will need to come up with an investment plan that's centered around your current situation, and everyone's situation is different. Before we jump into specific investment strategies, let's first address the importance of investing, especially for those with low incomes. Many people believe that investing is only for the wealthy, but that couldn't be further from the truth. In fact, investing is one of the most powerful tools for building wealth, regardless of your income level. Think of investing as planting seeds for your financial future. The sooner you start planting, the more time your money has to grow. And even if you can only plant a few seeds at a time, those seeds can still blossom into something significant over time. No one has ever planted a seed and received a seed in return. The outcome is usually an entire tree. Now let's talk about the first step in creating the best investment plan for low-income earners, budgeting. Budgeting is the foundation of financial success, regardless of your income level. By carefully managing your expenses and prioritizing your financial goals, you can free up money to put towards investments. Start by listing out all your income sources and monthly expenses. Be sure to include everything from rent and utilities to groceries and transportation. Once you have a clear picture of where your money is going, look for areas where you can cut back or eliminate expenses altogether. When it comes to minimizing your expenses, you can only go so low as having zero expenses, which is not realistic. However, instead of focusing solely on expense reduction, try to move your efforts to increasing your income. The video above and the link in the description will walk you through the personal process I used to increase my income. A budget worked for me and helped me boost my income, and I strongly believe it can work for you too. With your budget in hand, it's time to explore different investment options. When it comes to investing on a low income, one of the most accessible options is a retirement account, such as a 401 or IRA. These accounts offer tax advantages and typically have lower minimum investment requirements. If your employer offers a 401k matching program, be sure to take full advantage of it. This is essentially free money that can significantly boost your retirement savings over time. Even if you can only afford to contribute a small percentage of your income, every little bit helps. Here's how it works. You have a weekly salary of $1,000, so you contribute 5% of that towards your employer-sponsored 401k, which will be $50. Your employer then offers a 5% match as part of their benefits to you as an employee. This will add an additional $50 to your retirement plan weekly for a total of $100. The additional 5% or $50 contribution from your employer is free money, which will help boost your retirement account. Most of these retirement accounts pay some dividend income, which can use to pay off debt or reinvest for your future. Your retirement accounts can also be used as collateral for other investment opportunities. My retirement account income helped me quit my 9-to-5 job. I then used that money to start my entrepreneurial journey. Another low-cost investment option is a high-yield savings account or a certificate of deposit, see he. While these may not offer the same potential for high returns as stocks or mutual funds, they provide a safe and reliable way to grow your money over time. Many online banks offer competitive interest rates on savings accounts and CDs, making them ideal for low-income earners who are just starting out. Plus, these accounts are FDIC-insured, so you can rest easy knowing that your money is safe and secure. A low-income individual will definitely need a savings or CD account before embarking on the next opportunity to increase their income. By just investing $25 weekly in either of these two accounts over time will give you returns that you wouldn't have figured was possible. 
Now let's talk about one of the most powerful wealth building tools available to investors of all income levels, the stock market. While investing in individual stocks can be risky, especially for beginners, there are plenty of low cost ways to get started. One option is to invest in index funds or exchange traded funds, ETS, which offer instant diversification across a broad range of stocks or bonds. These funds typically have low expense ratios and can be purchased with as little as a few dollars. Thanks to advances in technology, investing in the stock market has never been easier or more accessible. There are dozens of online brokerage platforms that cater to investors of all experience levels, many of which offer commission-free trading and educational resources to help you get started. I personally used Robinhood Brokerage account for my investing. I'll put a link in the description below. While you're considering investing, also consider using my referral link, which will assist you with getting started and help the channel. Whether you prefer a hands-on approach to investing or want to take a more passive approach, there's a platform out there that's right for you. Just be sure to do your research and choose a platform that aligns with your investment goals and risk tolerance. One of the best ways to get ahead of your investments on a low income is to seek guidance from a professional financial advisor. A financial advisor can help you assess your current financial situation, set realistic goals, and develop a personalized investment strategy that's tailored to your needs. While working with a financial advisor may involve some upfront costs, the potential benefits far outweigh the expenses. Not only can an advisor help you navigate the complexities of financial markets, they can also provide invaluable support and guidance on the way. In order to reduce or not incur any cost from a financial advisor, please seek one that has a fiduciary duty to their clients or advisors that offer free initial consultation. One very important tip that can elevate your income is to invest in yourself by changing your mindset. Your mind has an uncanny ability to rewire and form new connections throughout a person's life, so age doesn't matter. Your mindset change can come about by way of reading or listening to material that explains finances, debt, and other areas of interest to you. Ultimately, the key to building wealth on a low income is consistency and discipline. By sticking to your budget, prioritizing your financial goals, and staying committed to your investment plan, you can achieve financial success no matter how much money you earn. Remember, investing is a journey, not a sprint. It's okay to start small and make mistakes along the way. What's important is that you keep learning, stay focused on your goals, and never give up on your dreams of a brighter financial future. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. And until next time, keep pushing your investments. Thanks for watching, and if you found this video valuable, Check out either of these other videos for more insights into investing and options trading.